So let me show you um, what I've done. I've never participated in art, and I'm proud to show my work that I have made um, a soap carving of a fish, and it's the same. It, it's after one of the artists that we learned about, Elijah Pierce. My name is Victoria Sells, and I'm a speech language pathologist at New Horizons Center. We're a private therapeutic day school for students with uh, special needs and autism. Last year in September, um, Dorothy, who is our art educator, asked me to partner up with her for the teacher fellowship program through Intuit. Then during this pandemic, she led a workshop for the art after work. And she told me about it and asked me to, invited me to join in. And uh, now I'm hooked. So I participate in the Art After Work now, and I've been doing it for three months. The Art After Work is uh, once a month, it's an, only an hour long. Uh, different presenters um, lead the, the workshop. They provide an education from an outsider artist's point of view. And then it's fun to see at the end, people who have taken the tools and the instructions from the presenter and come up with different interpretations. When I first went to Intuit and introduced myself, I said my idea for art within the speech therapy session was to have a lot of cut out little pieces. And gluing was my art for the students. But now I find that um, the art can be anything that they create. So we have a student with autism who likes to make circles. And so that's his art, is his expression of making circles. Or somebody who writes their name, and they like to write their name again and again. That that can be their art, because that's what outside artists have done. I would encourage other people to get involved in these programs, because um, it is a great way to explore other things, to, to let go of the seriousness of the day, and to just relax, to calm down, heal for a little bit, and then take a deep breath, and then resume uh, your hectic life schedule. <laughs>